Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Let's discuss what are the different levels we have in our LSA exam and I would be explaining what are the pass marks and what is the examination fee and my journey as well in Pagal. I am happy for all those people who are subscribed to my channel and I request others also to subscribe my channel as it is for free of course and it's just click. So let's get started to our topic. So this video is mainly for the people who are aspiring to become LSCS in future and who are already done LSCS in older versions. So this experience or these levels is for 8.8 .8 version that LSA I have did and many people have approached me in LinkedIn and WhatsApp like can you please upload a video like uh, what is this uh, different levels of exam we have in LSA because previously it was different pattern and now there are a lot of changes in a PEGA LSA exam and uh, exam fee is also different people who has done LSAs before have asked like how many levels are there now and people who are going to write LSA exam they are asking many questions like uh, how many days uh, this design is there how many days this uh, build is there and few people are directly asking me some uh, artifacts as well uh, to answer all those queries uh, one of my colleague Suganya has told like why can't we make a video so thanks Suganya for suggesting this so this video is uh, for everyone normally uh, in pega we have uh, developer certifications like uh, system architect senior system architect and lead system architect so those are nothing but uh, pcsa pcwsa and pclsa these are pega certifications and first for this lsa preparation uh, first we need to see what are the prerequisites first is uh, we should be having 36 plus months of experience in PEGA. So few people just for uh, increasing the package, uh, they will be doing LSS without knowing the exact knowledge. So please don't hurry. Uh, have some good expertise and then you do LSA. If you just do LSA without any knowledge, then you will be facing so much heat when you are facing client and when you are leading a team. And next, you should be having CS and CWC, of course and it's better even though you did csa or cws in older versions just uh, revise uh, the cws course with the latest version whenever you are going to give an exam so as i have did in 8.8 .8, i have given cws as well in 8.7 to know the latest concepts uh, in cws as well next clsa course so you can find like uh, once you log into academy.pega.com under trainings, under view certifications, you can see uh, this lead system architect. So in this, if you see here, lead system architect 8.8 .8 mission, you can see. Once you click on it, you can see different topics. There, uh, you have uh, some exercises as well. Don't skip those exercises. Those are very useful. Take your time. No hurry. Uh, do one after the other. So it's not like uh, within two months you have to finish because it's very a costly exam and it is very useful. So you do all the exercises and practice all the exercises and PEGA has uh, brought a feature like until you completed uh, those exercises, even though you click complete, PEGA in back and they were checking whether those rules that they are expecting in the respective exercises are present or not. Then only you are able to move to the next uh, in those lessons. This is really very good move from PEGA. Next, you have architecture exam. You can see here LSA architecture exam. This architecture exam, you have to uh, book through PSN VUE. So you know that PSN is our partner where we do certifications. You can do uh, from your home um, and uh, following their guidelines, or you can go to some PSN centers as well and that architecture exam cost is around 175 us dollars after the architecture you have to go for pega lsc or build you can see here register for lsc design or app build so this uh, registration you have to do from pega pdn only you no need to go for psn center and that would cost around 650 us dollars so what are the different concepts pega is uh, giving in this uh, system architect 8.8 .8 mission so they have segregated topics like Pega platform design, application design, data model design, security, reporting, asynchronous processing design, and deployment and testing design. So 
all these uh, are very useful concept even though you did not write any lsa certification but in our day to day project it is very helpful for us to know all these things so latest features even though we don't have any hands on we can do some practice over here and we can get some knowledge okay so that's why uh, what i felt is that there are four levels of exams one is lsa course once you complete lsa course there is a exam like uh, there would be 80 uh, uh, questions that i would call as lsa readiness after that you have to enroll for lsa architecture exam which uh, the pass percentage is 65 percent and the cost is around 175 us dollars once you submit the exam the result will be uh, just in minutes because it would be evaluating all the question and answers uh, or that we have clicked on on the ui next is level 3 which is lsa design lsa design in 8.8 .8 have 14 days time period so the day you have started the exam exactly Pega would be giving 14 days so in this we would be provided with a question uh, that question we have to read thoroughly and we have to see how we can uh, implement uh, that uh, respective project that question is nothing but an entire business scenario of a project so you have to build a project from end to end with uh, the scenarios with the different actors with different portals that Pega is expecting so they would be explaining some scenarios like uh, to uh, do an approval process, level two approval process, skill based routing, or mashup, or uh, integrations like that. So based on that question you got, you have to be make sure that you have to write a design document. Here we would be writing a document, and that sample document also Pega would be giving like uh, what are the headings they are expecting so you have to fill those details and you have to give a picture representation as well if needed uh, make sure that you cover all these topics in your design document if you miss any one of this you will be failing that exam so once you completed that uh, particular design document you make sure to read from evaluator perspective and see okay by understanding this you got a clear idea on the question you got or not because this design is very important you should not deviate your build after you have submitted the design suppose you have submitted design document uh, with some approach and you have built uh, your application with some other approach then you would be failing the exam and again you have to start level 3 this design exam pass percentage is 75 percent if you are uh, above 75% or equal to 75% you would be passed and you would be promoted to write a build which you can start from 30 days of the result of design so within on 30th day if you start the exam of build you will get 7 days of time as well suppose you got around 65% to 75% Pega would be giving like see we have seen these many faults in your design you would be required to give a design fix so in the design fix again you have to sit and thoroughly check your document and if you feel like this can be uh, of better design or these features can be used you can uh, choose that again Pega would be giving around seven days time then you can submit the design fix as well uh, like you, once you have registered for Pega LSA they would be creating a case so there you have to upload your document in a zip file next we have is LSA build so level 4 is LSA build where uh, you would be given for seven days in 8.8 .8 version so this LSA build is like uh, we would be provided uh, the time uh, so you have to schedule that as i said once your design result is out within 30 days you have to schedule one day in those 30 days and uh, you can schedule like from this day from this time zone this time i want to start the exam you will be given as seven complete days not working days seven days so seven in that seven weekdays you have to uh, build your uh, application and make sure that in design you would be already specifying what are the classes you want what are the report definitions you want to create what are the operators you want to create so all those needs to be created in your build and uh, make sure that you use uh, latest features like uh, case designing or uh, data type creation or rest integration everything or you try to create from app studio if you have any queries regarding creation of those you can check my youtube channel where i uh, posted some uh, 
videos like how to use app studio apart from this uh, lsa build uh, as i have said uh, once you have completed uh, lsa build you have to again upload the entire application uh, into a uh, zip file and in that zip file you have to be uploading all the application component whatever documents and uh, you have to specify test scenario document also like end to end testing that you have did and how to import this particular jar file those instructions everything you have to document it in our build phase and we have to upload in a zip folder and the zip folder naming convention also pega would be suggesting i won't be saying in this video so based on the naming conventions pega has provided you have to do as per their policy and uh, once uh, you have passed the exam uh, suppose lsa build also you have passed and you got a result you make sure that you don't share your artifacts design documents or whatever it is so to be precise saying there might be uh, two to three questions that would be there for each version uh, there might be chances you will be getting an email like as you have uh, given your design document or you have given bill you were lsa certification we are reverting it back there might be a chances so make sure you protect your design document and artifacts as well as i have said in design uh, fix like in build also if you got near percent of 65% like that we would be giving seven more additional days to uh, do build fix so for example you have passed design and uh, you'll be given 30 days before start of your build be uh, the day before you start your build you will be getting an email stating that you have to start your build from tomorrow and you would be uh, pro like you should be downloading a linux uh, software in your local computer and there you can uh, follow the steps how to create an environment in virtual machine that pega will be giving a document anyways so in that environment only you have to do the build and you should not be using your personal edition also anyways for my dotted we don't have any personal edition and uh, if build also you got around 65% like that you would be getting build fix and in that build fix also if you did not meet uh, pega expectation or you did not use any other thing any complaints like that you be getting an email stating that uh, you did not uh, pass this exam so make sure that uh, you follow all these things and remember all these things so yeah if failed you have to repeat again level 3 and level 4 so many people will be asking uh, what is the exam fee for level 3 and level 4 so level 1 is 175 us dollars level 3 and level 4 is 650 us dollars so make sure you will be not losing money and when will the result be given so level 2 as i have said uh, it would be immediate result and level 3 and 4 it would be taking around 10 to 12 weeks okay Uh, so before uh, your uh, build phase uh, like uh, in design you will be uh, submitting some document and if you pass nothing will be coming to you but before build you will be getting an email this would be the um, design feedback this is my design feedback for your design application so it would be stating what are the uh, changes you can expect to do if you do that and uh, without deviating major design that would be fine you would be passed and coming to my journey i started uh, my career in 2012 in tcs but later uh, in tcs uh, only i moved to pega domain um, thank you tcs for introducing me this pega world and i did my cs in 2015 and in 2016 cwsc i did cpdc in 2017 and uh, there is one retired up uh, certification cuis i did in 2018 and later i did crsa robotic uh, certification 2019 then i have thought like okay uh, every year i am learning something new why can't i go for uh, as lsa so readiness i did in 2020 and clsa part 1 2021 i did later i did cpba in 2022 as uh, i have said we should be uh, knowing a updated course so again i did my clsa exam course uh, uh, mission in uh, pdl then i did my clsa in 2023 and so this is my journey 
so don't rush for uh, clsa uh, take your time study go through don't waste money and keep your artifacts safe thank you thanks for watching this video please do share like comment and click on bell icon for immediate notification when i have uploaded a video please share to your colleagues and peers who are interested in pedagogy